Hi and welcome back to reconvert. In this video we will talk about three different widgets that you can add to your thank you page and demonstrate exactly how to do it. We're going to be demonstrating the text widget, text with image and call to action widget. We're going to be walking on the page builder and using an empty template. If you're not sure how to get to the page builder or create a new template, please refer back to our onboarding video to learn how the app works. As you know, in Shopify, the thank you page is divided to the right section and the left section. And you can already see here in our blank template some familiar widgets and elements that are built in from Shopify. We can't delete these elements and we can't change them, but we can change the layout of these elements in the page and I will soon show you exactly how to do it. We're going to start by adding a text widget to the left area. So we're going to choose the left area, choose the add section and the text widget. Once we've chosen it, you can already see its location in the page. And now let's just play with it a little bit. The text widget is a great opportunity to just connect with your customers. You can put a link on the text and you can use it to upsell and redirect the customer to all sorts of places in your store. But honestly, there are better widgets for it. And I would recommend using this just to really connect, to give a personal message to your customers, or maybe let them know about something new and upcoming that you want to only let the existing customers know about. I'm going to use this option to just say thank you on a personal note. Okay, so I just typed in a very basic message, thanking the customer, letting them know that we appreciate them and asking kindly if they would let us know how they felt about the product once they received it. I also added just a bit of information about the business that we are a family business, small, warm, and personal. Again, this is just a way to make this message a little more personal, something that comes from you as a person, as a business owner, and not necessarily from a cold entity that is unfamiliar to the customer. You will probably have more to say about an actual business that is your own. Now, let's make it a little more bold. Let's start with making this a heading and maybe change the font also center it and maybe change the color just to make it bolder you know so you can also play with the rest of the text i'm gonna just make this line these two words bold uh just letting the customer know that the next week is when the product is set to arrive you can change the color you can add an underscore italic bold link whatever you want i'm gonna leave it like that i think it's good enough this way and we are basically done with the text element now we have the text element as you can see here at the bottom since this is just a personal message from us and we want this to be the first thing that the customer sees let's move it up and now it's at the top of the page and this is what i said earlier about being able to move these elements even though you can see here that they are read only we cannot touch them we can move things around them and in that way change the layout of the page and change their location let's move on to the next element which is the image with text the image with text is very very similar to the text element the only difference is there is an image so we're gonna add it to the left area as well so i'm staying in the left area and just adding another section let's add the image with text we can already see how it's going to look let's start by selecting an image we can select an image that's already in the store or upload a new one i'm going to just choose an existing one now there are a few settings for the image that we can play with the first one is the image alignment compared to the text in this widget we have it right now to the left of the text we can put it to the right of the text or in the center which also makes the image automatically bigger so you should notice that if you have a small image this might not be the less the best layout for it i'm going to choose left just because it looks the best in my opinion and i can also ch choose the layout of the image it is right now square and i can make it circle i really like the way the circle looks so we're going to stay with this and i can also put a link in the image i'm not going to put a link right now but just know it's possible now for the text i think i'm just going to keep the exact same text as i did before 
So again, we're just telling the customers that we appreciate them. Maybe make this one a little smaller. Okay, so we're just telling the customer that we appreciate them. Ideally, you would maybe put an image of yourself here or of the team. Something that again makes it more personal. An image of yourself talking straight to the customer and letting them know that you appreciate them. You can also use this widget to let the customer know about an upcoming collection or sale that you want them to be the first to know. Whatever it is, you can use it. Put a link in if you want to link the image, link the text. It's really all up to you. Again, let's play with the location of the widget and just move it up. Okay, and maybe drag down the text to the bottom. So we are left with the last widget we're going to talk about today, which is the call to action. We're going to place the call to action to the right section, just to keep it versified. So let's choose the right area, add section and call to action. Here it is. Again, once I've added it, you can already see it in its current placing on the thank you page. We have the already familiar text area that we can play with. You can just make this a header or you can put some more information. I'm actually using it to let the customer know that there is a new fall collection coming up on November 15th. So I'm gonna bold the area where I talk about the date just so that it is as clear as possible for the customer and make this a header. Again, something we've already done quite a few times. So I'm really just letting the customer know about this new fall collection and I want to make the button a link to where the customer can check out the upcoming collection and choose items that he wants from it. Now you can see that it looks kind of wonky here, so let's change the layout. Just like we did with the image, we can choose the layout of the text compared to the button as well. It is right now horizontal, which makes sense for a small header or a small paragraph, but we want to make it vertical. There we go, it already looks better. Now I'm going to change the button to say shop for collection and change the color to fit the heading a little more. There we go. The last thing but not least is just to add a link. I'm going to add this link that doesn't really exist to a new fall collection. This widget is a great way to just let the customers know about something you want them to take an action about. Whatever it's a new collection that you want them to check out and you offer, or maybe even a freebie that you're offering, and you just want to redirect them back to the store. The last thing we need to do before we can check how this page looks in real life is just click the save button so it goes live. Now we will go to one of our store's orders and just view the order status page. And as you can see, the three widgets we created are all here. We have the image with text, the call to action, and the text widget. So the thank you page is basically ready. You can just sit back and draw and see exactly how your customers are reacting to the widgets that you've added. We encourage you to really play with it, fit the colors, the vibe, the text, and the images to your store and your niche. Make sure that you're using it wisely and not overloading the customers with information. I hope this video was helpful and I invite you to check out the rest of our training videos in the help section of the app. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us and our support team would be happy to help. Have a great day and enjoy optimizing your conversion rate.